Reading to you from the authorized version of the scriptures, commonly referred to as the King James Version, the perfect, inerrant, given by inspiration word of God, okay? If you happen to have a copy of the uh, authorized version, please go ahead and grab it. And read along with me at some of the verses that we will be looking at today. Read along with me. Be a Berean. Search the scriptures daily whether these things be so. Read along with me because sometimes the mouth does go quicker than the brain. Okay? All right, please. And if you do not have a copy of the authorized version, why? Why? Because you believe, yea, hath God said? Oh, I can't understand it. If you don't have a copy of the authorized version, listen. Listen. Today is the sixth. Sixth proverb. Proverbs 6, verses 12 on to verse 19. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a forward mouth. He winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teacheth with his fingers. Hand signs, hand signals if you were. Okay? <laughs> he speaketh with his feet. What does that mean? Who, is, who, are, who are some of these guys yoking themselves up with? Where do, the, where do they go? What associations, what affiliations do they have? Okay? For example, Trump who was Jesuit trained, who had Kenneth Copeland speak on his behest, or his behalf, excuse me, who has that Twit uh, Robinson speak on his behalf. Okay? Where does he go? He's a, he's a high-level Freemason, a 33rd degree. Okay? All right? And he's also Jesuit trained. Also look at Smoking Joe and Kamala. Okay? Also, Catholic, Jesuit trained. Okay? All right? But you got to remember, the politicians are there as the scapegoats. Those are the visual stimuli to the wrestling angle that ye are being fed. Okay? Got to remember that. Let's continue. So, so, he speaketh with his feet. What associations? Where is he going? Huh? He teacheth with his fingers. His fingers. Have you ever noticed that Trump intentionally does the OK sign, the uh, 666 sign quite a bit? And there was the one video of Trump where his right eye was darkened with the <laughs> Make America Great Again. Okay? All right. <laughs> Frowardness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. Now those of you who are mindlessly supporting Trump will say, Well, Brad, you're a libtard, right? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. People, you have to understand the political angle here in America. Okay? The political construct, the political shoe that you are being fed isn't real. Okay? Yes, real lives are being affected. Yes, real people are being injured, hurt, and broken, destroyed, financial peril. Yes, the outcomes of the fallacy of the fictitious thing that you call politics that you are being fed by the media. Okay, yes, there are real outcomes real perversion that comes from what you are being fed. But you have to remember what you are seeing politically, what you are seeing on the news is fantasy. It isn't real. Yes, people are dying. Yes, wars are happening. But see, it's a wrestling angle. It's entertainment, man. Okay? It's theater. Okay? Loosely based off of reality. Okay? You have to understand that. Okay? You have got to. There are no elections. There are selections. Okay? You have to understand that. Okay? Yes, 
Real world consequences will come from what's going on. Yes, but what you are being fed, what you are being presented, isn't reality, isn't the real world. It's a pro wrestling angle. It's drama. Okay? They're thespians. You have to remember that. Okay? And looking at verse 14 again. Forwardness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. It doesn't take much of a brain to recognize here in America that discord is rampant. Left, right, right, left. It's, it's quite obvious. Excuse me, I beg your pardon. What's going on? Verse 15. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. These six, the number of man, these six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Seven, the day of completion, the day of rest. A proud look, both with Trump and with Smoking Joe, and especially that cackle demon, <laughs> as it were, um, Kamala Harris. Okay? <laughs> a proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift to run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Now, I have encountered personally quite a few of these people. There was some jerk in Canada who is really good at that, uh, who I used to have fellowship with, who was really good about sowing discord. Yeah, that was his purpose. Infiltrator. Absolutely. Hi. Haven't forgotten about you. Okay. But, in the context here of America, okay, have you not figured this out? Okay. The uh, smoking Joe, and, you know, remember, Remember, you're watching a soap opera. You are watching drama. You are watching a professional wrestling angle right before your eyes. It's theater. It's not reality. But remember, you have Smoking Joe with President Kamala Harris. On the other side, you have Trump and DeSantis and that one Jesuit Valish guy or whatever his name is. It's, it's okay. All right, you have these figureheads to distract. What's going on underneath? What's going on underneath? Okay, what's going on? That's what you need to consider. See, now we've talked about this before. What you are seeing is called the Hegelian dialect or the Hegelian principle, where both sides of the argument are controlled opposition to each other. To what? To control the outcome, which favors who? Rome. The Vatican. Okay, America is controlled, run, operated by the Jesuit order, which is Catholicism. America is a Catholic nation. I don't care what you Freemasons who want to say with your American patriotism, okay, America is gone. There is no return for this country that never was. Okay? You have to get your head out from betwixt your buttocks. Okay? America is doomed. It's only a matter of time. The only reason why any mercy is being shewed this nation is because of he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. The body of Christ. The saints that are in America. That's the only reason why this nation hasn't been destroyed yet. And that doesn't mean that this, um, this country won't collapse, implode on itself while the body of Christ is here. Brethren, we got to be prepared for that. we got to be prepared for that. Again, remember Fox's Book of Martyrs when the saints were being brutalized by Rome. Okay? They saw horrific times. Okay? And yet the redemption of the purchase position didn't happen at that time, did it? No, it did. So it is very possible, brethren, people, saints here in America, my countrymen, 
uh, dear saints in America, it is very possible that these hellacious times are going to come upon us while we, the body of Christ, are here. you got to be prepared for that. Okay? Are you? Okay? But what is the outcome? What was the outcome of the Civil War where it put it, uh, pitted North versus South? 14th Amendment. Centralized power in Washington, D.C. Centralized. A system covered as democracy based upon a Freemasonic document, okay? But a centralized system of government where it was originally intended that each state was to be its own sovereign state, okay? Okay, that was the original intention. But after the Civil War, what happened? A centralized thing, similar to the Vatican, okay? What's going to happen with all this nonsense with the, the left, with the wokeism, and the right, with the conservatism? What's going to, what's the ultimate, what's the ultimate thing? What is the ultimate thing? That we destroy ourselves. Rome has always hated America. Rome had a foothold, and a lot of these Freemasons uh, undercover don't want you to know this. Okay, remember, the Freemasons are operated, controlled, and run by the Jesuit order, not the other way around. If some putz comes around trying to tell you otherwise, reject them, get away from them. They are, those are the ones who usually know what's going on anyway, that they are being controlled by the Vatican. There are some that are ignorant of that. Let them know. If they don't want to know that, then, you know, you know. But see, what is happening is Rome has always despised, hated America. You can read the book by Leone, I believe it is. Okay, the Jesuit plot to destroy America. Um, uh, Samuel Morse, okay? Samuel Morse, all right, who was also his book about the conspiracies to destroy America and the Jesuit order to which to do so from the inception of this American experiment. American experiment, okay? Rome has had it in for this country, okay? And you got to remember, this concept of this America, uh, a, govern, a nation by the people and for the people, was doomed when the original, when one of the original 13 colonies or states was Mary's land. Okay? But see, you have President Trump. And you know, a lot of people, these, these sad, my sad countrymen, who, who actually believe that Trump is going to come on as a man riding on a white horse who has no arrows for bow, okay? Okay, having a crown on his head. No, Trump is not that man. It's in the son of perdition. Just the tie-in is actually, I think, quite humorous. Okay. Psalm fifty-five, verses twenty and twenty-one. Psalm fifty-five, verses twenty and twenty-one. Okay. He hath put forth his hands against such as be such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. And also Proverbs 23. Proverbs 23, verses 5 on to verse 7. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? America is not going to endure. America eventually is going to fall. Every single nation in the history of mankind has fallen. Okay? Some like to argue, well, Rome didn't actually fall. And they're partly correct on that. Rome as a visual military controlling presence fell. Yes, but covertly Rome continued in Roman Catholicism the perfection of the Babylonian religion. So, 
the visual of Rome, yes, but the actuality of Rome continuing, okay, that's uh, partly correct. But the dynasties of China, okay, Alexander the Great, okay, just go down the list of all the kingdoms of man, mankind have fallen. You know, why, why do you think in uh, the kingdom of heaven the Lord is going to show mankind for a thousand years of how a kingdom is supposed to be ran? Because God is the head of that kingdom. Okay? All right? Because God is the head of that kingdom. Proverbs 23 again, verses 5 on verse 7. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. You people need to get away from all this political stuff and just concentrate on your relationship with the Lord. Are you saved? Huh? Watch out for these jerk, uh, fake gracers out there who pre uh, preach to you another gospel and another Jesus. Watch out for Rome. Okay? Watch out. Okay? Watch out. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. You are you think you are because you say you are, right? Or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Eat and drink, saith he to thee. But his heart is not with thee. In the description box a while ago, the Lord had me to do a video called The Napoleon Plan, where I personally believe, and watch that video, that the Jesuit order is going to use Donald Trump as they used Napoleon Bonaparte many years ago. How so? Now you can watch the video, The Napoleon Plan. It'll be the first one in the description box. Click on that for an for in-depth uh, thing on that. Napoleon Bonaparte was controlled and operated by the Jesuit order. Okay? All right? And eventually killed by the Jesuit order. He came back the second time. He made two appearances. Okay? He came back a second time and purposely lost the battle that he could have won. Even people of our nation uh, pointed out he attacked from the wrong side. Okay? He purposely lost. He purposely lost. So his French countrymen who were patriots would die. That's what I personally believe the Jesuit order is going to do with Donald Trump. All these American patriots are being deceived and fooled that Trump is their great white knight riding on the white horse. Right? Right. It's going to be Trump. You know, and even scumbags like Joe Rogan, okay, have even given credence that you know, yeah, people are, see, now remember the visual stimuli thing, okay, what you're being fed. You are being told that the woke nonsense culture is, is the stem from smoking Joel, smoking Joe and Kamala Harris, okay? That's what you're being told, okay? And they are the visual focal head of it, are they not? They had that guy from Bud Light, the transvestite dude, in the White House, Okay? You remember that? Okay? So, the Jesuits on this side, laughing at America, laughing at all these devils, laughing at all these wicked sinners who call evil good and good evil, okay? All right? They're, they are visually being represented by what? Smoking Joe and Kamala Harris. Then you have the conservatives, the Republicans, okay? And who is there? Who's the one that they're all being put on the focal point? Donald Trump. Think about this, people. Think about this. Look at look at how they're playing Trump up. It's a professional wrestling angle, people. What's wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? Seriously, it's entertainment. Think about in professional wrestling, any of you who watch that satanic nonsense, 
about when a guy is going to become the champion of the World Wrestling Federation or back then WCW, they would put all these things to kind of sidestep their main character who they were going to put at the head of their whatever and they went through all this trials and tribulation and then they get the championship. Then it all goes downhill and they become a heel. You know, you ought to look into this thing called predictive programming. It's actually a real thing. Satan, uh, through the media, through the Jesuit order, who controls all the media, is blatantly rubbing in your face what he's going to do. This is their hour in the power of darkness. What's the end that justifies the means? The destruction of America. Why? Why? Because the Jesuits have turned us Americans against each other. And people, we are, we are at a point where a unified nation is impossible. Have you ever tried to witness and talk to a woke person? Have you ever tried that? Huh? Have you ever seriously sat down and had a civilized conversation with a trans individual? trying to warn them of the truth. Have you ever had that opportunity? Okay? It, I, I, I have never yet to this day that I'm aware of, that I am aware of, because we don't know how the Lord will use our witness. Remember, brethren, remember, brethren, brother, remember, you don't know, you don't know who overheard you. You don't know who is watching. You don't know if there's a Saul holding coats over there. You don't know. You don't know. Okay? You don't. But that I'm aware of, I've not gotten far at all with a woke individual or a trans individual. I have had a woke individual take a gospel track. Yes. I have had a woke individual here. I have had a trans individual here. They wouldn't take a track. But I have had them here. Okay? I've had more success witnessing onto sodomites who heard and took tracks rather than with a woke and or a trans individual. Okay? Very difficult. Very difficult. But what happens when you come across the right? Now remember, you're being fed that all this perversion is on the left and all of righteousness is on the right. Why can't you people see this? What, what is it with you? See, they got you fed to that idiot, idiot box, right? They got you fed. They, they got you believing that because someone's got a piece of paper on their wall that costs over $100,000 that they have facts, truth, and knowledge, right? Right. Over here, Trump was his righteous. You've heard him. You've heard him. But you got to remember, there are no elections. There are selections. What would happen if no one went and vote, voted? And now we're going to look at a quick little snippet here uh, by Mr. Trump. Uh, Mr. Napoleon, uh, you ought to call this man. Uh, Mr. Napoleon, okay? <laughs> but he's going to bring up some really... He's going to bring up truth. He's going to state truth. Yes, he is. But see, what's the purpose? What is the purpose? Okay, the left is symbolized by calling evil good and good evil. The right is symbolized by Christian, uh, Christian nonsense or whatever. Right? Right? What happens? What happens? This country of America is so torn apart already. And remember, His Holiness did a video a couple years ago about this uh, website called Daggle, where they predicted by 2025 that there would be a major dip in the population of America by 2025. Of course, YouTube expunged that video and he won't put the video back up on his channel. God, hey, when credit is due, you give credit where it's due, okay? But it's only 2023 and there is an election coming. Excuse me. There is a selection coming. 
you got to remember, every single one of you people out there, all my countrymen. And what's interesting is, someone outside of our nation sees this. They can figure it out. That's why I really appreciate the brethren that are of other nations. And the brethren that are of other nations, when talking to them, when this, this comes up, bless their hearts, and I don't mean that in the southern way, they 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 like they tread lightly. Well, not really anymore with me because I we get it. But they're like, you know, look, I don't want to offend you. Go ahead, go ahead, okay, go ahead. Call a spade a spade. Go right ahead, okay. America is run by Catholicism. There is no hope. The only hope that there is for America is for you, the individual, for you individually. In its entirety, America's gone. America's gone. And watch out for these people who are preaching patriotism. Patriotism. That doesn't mean if an army comes here that we Americans aren't going to fight back. That doesn't mean that, no. But why be patriotic for a system for a nation that is bought and sold and cannot be reclaimed? Doesn't make sense. John chapter 10. Every single one of you are my American countrymen. Every single one of you. Keep this in your mind. John 10. 10 on verse 12. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And as I believe, if they select Trump and put him in office, there's going to be a sacrifice made of all you Trump supporters who support that man. He's going to put you on that altar and he's going to sacrifice you. Literally? Maybe. We don't know. But let's continue. But he that is an hireling, Donald Trump is a 33rd degree Freemason. He is Jesuit trained. He does not operate on his own. Putin even said himself that there were other people that came in to, uh, what's that bald-headed guy, um, that uh, Tate idiot? He even gave credence to that. That where Putin had made mention that guys in black suits, Jesuits, came and dictated to Trump certain things, okay? Trump is just what trained. Trump is doing what he is told. Smoking Joe, just like Pope Francis. These people are doing what they are told. Pope Francis is subservient to Sosa, okay? The head of the Jesuit order, Arturo, Arturo Sosa, the most deadliest man on earth, Arturo Sosa. Pope Francis is not that stupid. He is acting. He is purposely doing these things. Just like Smoking Joe. Now, granted, whatever they put in the Smoking Joe, whatever, who knows, Smoking Joe is not that stupid. He isn't. Is his mind going? Probably. Probably. Whatever they're feeding him, we don't know. Okay? All right? But these people, again, people, this is theater. It's theater. Shakespeare could not write a better performance than what you are being fed on TV, through the media, in the news, in politics. Okay? All right. I, I'll at least give credit to the fledgling of pride, I, who does attempt at least to have a transparency in what he's doing. Okay? I'm not going to bash that little putz. I'm not. You know, at least he's got some kind of avenue where he's attempting to be truthful in what he is presenting to you. At least. At least. Okay? But the news is what you're being fed and believing people. Verse 12. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming. Well, what is the wolf? Eminent civil war? Okay. Who, who knows? Who knows? Okay. 
Who's okay? But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. Let's read verse thirteen. The hireling fleeth, because he is an hireling and careth not for the sheep. Do you? <laughs> You know, um, down the road there is a convenience store owned and operated by some lovely Indian people. Um, and I, I, I make comments to them, it's like, you know, no wonder why you of other nations hate us. And they kind of smile and kind of chuckle at me, but it's the truth. My countrymen, have you, do you not know why, can you not figure out why America is probably the most hated nation on earth today? There are those of you who really honestly believe, my countrymen, there are those of you who truly believe that Donald Trump cares about you. There are those of you that truly believe, I've talked to some of these people, that Smoking Joe and Kamala actually care about you. and sinker, man. Hook, line, and sinker. In the description box, there's going to be a few videos for you to, like I said, watch the Napoleon plan, okay? Like I said, okay, Smoke and Joe, if they select him to stay in office, something's going to happen. What? I don't know. If Trump gets into office, making all these promises, and then inevitably falls because the Jesuit order has to bring back up their psychological operation known as the poison crown. Look up poison and crown in Latin and you'll know what I'm saying about. They, they never really got rid of it, did they? Did they? Time went on, but always underneath they've kept it alive. You know what I'm talking about. And now in October, apparently, they're going to bring it back? Is this a coincidence? Is this a coincidence? What's it going to do now? Check this out. Let's watch this. Let's watch this. Okay? This is very quick. This is very quick. Oh, oh, don't, don't go crazy on that. Got to watch it on this OBS thing. Okay? Here is, <laughs> here is Trump. Listen to what this guy says. Now, I agree with this. What he is saying is the truth. But you've got to remember people. This is a performance. This is theater. The ultimate aim is to bring about the self-destruction of America. The Jesuits controlling the left, controlling the right. And what is the ultimate purpose? To get the left and right to kill one another, hence the outcome, the Hegelian principle to destroy America once and for all. What he's going to say is truth. I've been called a conspiracy theorist. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, thank you very little. I'm a conspiracy factualist. Okay? Now, let's give a listen to his... Uh, <laughs> Boy, he looks uh, starting to look a little emaciated, isn't he? Hmm? Uh, look at the the tan, blonde, <laughs> like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Check this out. The left-wing lunatics are trying very hard to bring back COVID lockdowns and mandates with all of their sudden fear-mongering about the new variants that are coming. Key whiz, you know what else is coming? An election. He's right. He's right. He's right. I agree. Let's see. What's the underlying thing here? Okay. They want to restart the COVID hysteria so they can justify more lockdowns, more censorship more illegal drop boxes, more mail-in ballots, 
and trillions of dollars in payoffs to their political allies heading into the 2024 election. Does that sound familiar? These are now what he said. I agree with because I think that sooner or later votes are going to be relegated to the hell phone instead of getting out to vote. Wake up to the fallacy that is America. Okay? Let's continue. The bad people, these are sick people we're dealing with. But to every COVID tyrant who wants to take away our freedom, hear these words, we will not comply. Fight words. So see, okay, now see, hold up. The link for this will be in the description box if you want to watch this little snippet yourself, okay? Think about this. You have, as it's being presented to you, controlled opposition on both sides to bring about the, the implosion of this nation. You got the left, as they tell you, the woke people who are, ah, with all this nonsense, okay? We're, you know, people who are uh, not going to comply and whatnot, but see, you have the people that are not going to comply. What is that? You have two sides with two varying different viewpoints, both combative and both destructive. To who? One another. Okay? All right? Fighting words on each end. And whoever the Jesuits are going to select is going to bring about even more destruction, maybe even the final blow to topple America once and for all. Who knows? Okay? This is what's going on. It's a wrestling angle, people, with real-world consequences to you and I. Okay? Let's, get, let's continue. So don't even think about it. We will not shut down our schools. We will not accept your lockdowns. We will not abide by your mask mandates, and we will not tolerate your vaccine mandates. They rigged the 2020 election, and now they're trying to do the same thing all over again by rigging the most important election in the history of our country, the 2024 election. If now see, again, you got to remember the thing about rat poison. Rat poison is 95% good food. It's the 5% that kills you. Uh, yeah, the 2020 election was rigged. Okay, sure, absolutely. They're all rigged. Okay, we don't have elections, people. We have selections. Okay, all right. If none of us went to the polls, or if none of people did their things on the hell phones, or whatever. Who would determine the next focal, visual stimuli? Who? Let's continue. Even if it means trying to bring back COVID, but they will fail because we will not let it happen. When I'm back in the White House, I will use every available authority to cut federal funding to any school, college, airline, or public transportation system that imposes a mask mandate or a vaccine mandate. Thank you very much. Okay, that, that's all you need to see. And the, the link for this will be in the description box for you to see yourself, okay? But there it was. Now see, what happens is you heard what he said. You heard what he said. Okay, you heard what he said, okay? But um, uh, what did we read in, uh, in the Psalm, Psalm 55? Huh? What did we read? Okay. Now, this is where the Napoleon Bonaparte thing comes into play. Psalm 55. Okay. Verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Proverbs 23 again, people. Proverbs 23 again. Okay? 
Proverbs 23. <laughs> Verses 6 and 7. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Now you just heard, if he gets back, if they select him and put him back in office, he has this, I'm not going to do this. But what happens if they put him back into office and he does impose the very things he is against? All you people that supported him? What happens? Smoking Joe, they remove him, okay, and they select Trump and they put him back in office. Boy, what, what a drama that would be to unfold, huh? What a drama, okay? What happens if he gets back in and he does the very thing that they are talking about doing now, but far more because, hey, there's no choice. They were right. We got to do this, my fellow Americans, blah, 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 blah. That's, you know, number one, the left will be even more irate, okay? And you got these fools who will defend Trump to the death, sacrifice on the altar, just like what they did with Napoleon Bonaparte. Like I told you, I don't know who they're going to put in. I'm going to tell you this. If they select Trump and put him back into office, Donald Trump, a second term, is going to probably, in my opinion, going to be the worst America has ever seen. The worst. You think he's going to do away with all the, the, the filth that happened with the woke stuff? He probably will. But see, he's going to replace one evil for another. Why can't you see that? In Isaiah chapter 19, in Isaiah chapter 19, okay? Isaiah chapter 19, verses 1 on verse 10. We're going to have a slight expository on this. Slight, all right? But Isaiah chapter 19, verses 1 on verse 10, all right? The burden of Egypt. Now, Egypt, for our instruction in righteousness today, is a type of what? The world. Okay? Yes, in context, in a different dispensation, yes. In context, this is actual, physical, literal Egypt. But for us today, our instruction in righteousness, Egypt is a type of the world. Almost every time. Okay? We can see it as a type of the world. Pharaoh, a type of Satan. Okay? The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And about Egypt, while we're in Isaiah, go to Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah chapter 30, verses 1 and verse 3. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. And that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. That walk to go down into Egypt, the world. That go to the, to the world for help. Go to the Jesuits for help. That walk to go down into Egypt, that have not asked at my mouth, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, hence Satan. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt, the world. You saw that all with the, uh, the psychological operation of a few years ago. The people were being, were putting their trust in the Catholic disease creators and stuff like that rather than the Lord. Okay? Therefore, all of you were falling for these lies. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. So, for our instruction in righteousness, 
Therefore shall the strength of Satan be your shame, who call evil good and good evil, and the trust in the shadow of the world, your confusion. And God is not the author of confusion. Is he? Yeah. Isaiah 31, 1 on verse 3. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. And remember, Christianity is giving you another Christ and another gospel. Okay? Watch out for Christianity. Yet, he also is wise and will bring evil. And will not call back his words. What will bring evil? He wounds, he kills, he makes alive. A nation that has chosen Satan and flesh over God. God is giving this nation what it wants. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Now, the Egyptians are men, mere men. Those of the world, the Jesuits, they're men. And not God. And how many people look at Trump as if he is? Smoking Joe and Kamala as they are. The government as the government is, right? And their horse is flesh, not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they all shall fail together. Uh, and also now we go to Psalm 9. Psalm 9. Not Nehemiah. Psalm 9. Okay. Psalm 9. Verses 15 on to 20. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. You want to believe a lie? You want to choose Satan over the Lord? Here's America for you. In the net which he hid, which they hid, is their own foot taken. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higayon Selah. The wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forget God. But America is a Christian nation. No, America is a Catholic nation. Which is Christian. So yeah, I guess you're right. America is a Christian nation. It's Catholic. Don't believe these uh, Freemasons who want to tell you that America was never a Catholic nation. <laughs> they have their own agenda that they want to support. Anyway. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord. Let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Salah. But how many people are being, here in my country, being trained to look at the government as if it is God? Ezekiel 28. Ezekiel 28. Ezekiel 28, verses 1 on verse 10. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Titus, who is being controlled and operated by Satan. Okay? Read the whole, read the whole chapter of Ezekiel 28 today. Go ahead. From the scriptures. Son of man, say unto the prince of Titus, Thus saith the Lord God, 
because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. Ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Huh? Ye will be like the you will be like the most high, right? Ye, excuse me, ye will be like the that's not what the scripture says, it says, I will be like the most high, but look at us here in America, huh? Yeah. Son of man, say on uh, son of man say unto the Prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord God, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God, and I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man, and not God. Though thou set thine heart as the heart of God, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that can be hid from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding thou hast gotten thee riches, and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast said in thine heart, uh, therefore thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God. Every single one of you who save yourself by your own belief, these disgusting uh, fake gracers, okay? Catholics and Calvinists with their members only club, okay? And the list goes on and on. Behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee, who Jesuits, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. Now, in context, this is talking directly about Satan. Okay, you read the whole chapter on your whole on your own time. But sure does fit for what America is today, isn't it? For our instruction and in righteousness. Doctrinal instruction and in righteousness, okay? They shall bring thee down to the pit. And thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Wilt thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am God? But thou shalt be a man and no God in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Thou shalt die the deaths of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers. For I have spoken and sat the Lord God. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 1. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. The art of war, Sun Tzu, like, and even what Yuri Beshmanov talked about, which will be in the description box for you, What's the best way to destroy a nation? Outright war? No. To pit the nation against its, itself, that it will destroy itself so that you don't even have to fire a shot. Look at America. The left and the right, both controlled by the Jesuit order. To do what? To control the outcome, the destruction, the implosion of itself. And why is this happening? As judgment. The Lord, remember in the previous video about, you know, those that be are ordained of God. God has ordained these people in America for judgment against this nation. The Lord has set this. Satan is being allowed to destroy this America. Satan is being allowed to deceive America to put right against left to destroy itself. I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. The worldly, the right and the left, fighting each other in America. And they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, and everyone against his neighbor city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Of course, what do you think? I would it, you know, right away. Matthew chapter 24, verses 4 on to verse 13. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Christ means what? Anointed one. Okay? And shall deceive many. 
It's a smorgasbord out there, okay? And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. We're hearing of rumors of war right now, aren't we? Yes. Yes. The fulfillment of this will happen after we, the body of Christ, are redeemed. Okay, keep that in mind. Let's continue. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning of, not the actual sorrows themselves. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. That's happening in a, you know, in a small way, if you can imagine. Okay, what's the difference? The body of Christ is still on the earth. He who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Okay, got to remember, doctrinally, Matthew chapter 24 isn't for us at all today. Instruction and righteousness, which we are looking at right now, yes, doctrinally, no. I'll prove that to you. Let's keep reading, okay? And then many, then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Dispensational difference here. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. All you stupid fake gracers. Hey, at least there's someone, a fake gracer out there who will at least say people are going to hell. <laughs> at least, right? <laughs> Scumbag, you do deserve to get smacked upside your head. But anyway, never mind. I ain't got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay? Today, you and I, saints, we don't have to endure to the end to be saved. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Okay? We don't have to endure to the end to be saved. Those during the time of Jacob's trouble, a dispensation where it has faith and works, the only ones that are sealed are the 144,000 Jews. It is not by grace through faith during the time of Jacob's trouble, you vile, vomitous, fake grace devils. Okay? No, it is not. During the time of Jacob's trouble, it's faith and works. You have to endure to the end to be saved during the time of Jacob's trouble. You have to rightly divide the word of truth. Nobody, ain't nobody got time for these idiots. Okay? But we are seeing the beginning of sorrows. Not the sorrows themselves. We are seeing the beginnings of them. Aren't we? Okay? And also, Micah chapter 7. Micah chapter 7. Micah chapter 7. Verses 5 on verse 7. Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom, your wife. For the son dishonoreth the father. The daughter riseth up against her mother. The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. Okay? Romans chapter 1. Verses 28 on to verse 32. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. And when you have a nation that wants to believe a lie, God will give you what you want. Isaiah 19, verse 2 again, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, 
Satan is being allowed today to destroy America. How? By putting us against each other. <laughs> Go outside your door. Go outside your door. Take a, take a sword with you. Take a track. A couple tracks with you. And this, it doesn't matter in what nation under heaven you live. It's getting worse, isn't it, brother? Yeah, we both, you and I, we both, we all know that. Yeah, it's getting worse. We're still here, hence there is still hope. It's getting worse. And here in America, America is being primed and ready, I believe, for a civil war. Think about it. Yeah, there's Chinese troops in Canada. Hey, there's Chinese troops in Cuba. Yeah. There are already cells within America that if Sosa says, go, they'll go, oh, what was that stupid uh, Hollywood Star Wars uh, Order 66? <laughs> Gee, add another six onto that, I wonder. Okay? Where all of a sudden they go on and they betray everybody. There are these cells within America that at the behest of Sosa can rise up. Okay? But guess what? probably won't need to, except be the whisperers, those the makers of propaganda. Oh, and the propaganda, man. <laughs> no, we watch documentaries. Okay, we do. But you got to watch out for a lot of the documentaries that are doing the fear-mongering and hate-mongering themselves. Okay? But see, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Lord has sent us. Hold your place here and go to Psalm 102. Now, think about Psalm 102. I personally believe Psalm 102 is the perfect picture of the Jew during the time of Jacob's trouble. Absolutely. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I personally believe that Psalm 102 is a depiction of the Jew during the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, uh, and if you read Psalm 102 on your own time, the turning point in Psalm in Psalm 102 is verse 12. But we are going to read in Psalm 102, uh, verses 8 on to verse 11. My enemies reproach me all the day, and they that are mad and sane against me are sworn against me. We have sworn enemies against us, brethren, and my countrymen. They're called the Jesuits, okay? For I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping. How many people are genuinely weeping for this nation and for those lost going to hell? Very few, okay? Because of thine indignation and thy wrath, for thou hast lifted me up and cast me down, indignation in thy wrath? A God who gets angry? Not according to the to the, the you know the Christianity that is out there. The fake gracers and the Calvatards and the uh, Catholics. <laughs> I like that Calvatard thing that you came up with. That's really good. I like that. I like that. Okay? My days are like a shadow that declineth. And I am withered like grass. You read Psalm 102 on your own time. And you can see how it clearly, I believe at least, is a picture of the Jew during the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? The Lord has set this. America is going to implode sooner or later. It's not going to explode. It's going to fall in on itself. And all our enemies are just going to sit there and get the marshmallow. And the hot diggity dogs. I will set Isaiah 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. What is that spirit of Egypt? The spirit of Egypt. What is the spirit of Egypt? Well, let's go to 1 John. Yeah, 
Yeah. First John chapter 2. You bet it. You bet, buddy. You know it. <laughs> Some of you actually do. First John chapter 2. Verse 18. No, 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 no. Let's read 15 on verse 18. Love not the foil, neither the things that are in the foil. I'm saying that that way on purpose. Chill. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, which both sides are being played upon to get you riled up, the flesh, with the left and the right. Okay? All right? For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. The left, evil good is, and good is evil. The right, with Catholic Christianity, right? Build up the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Pride goes before destruction with the woke LGBT cute thing. The pride of life, okay? The, um, uh, you know, the conservatives, the Christians, okay? It's not of the Father, it's of the world. And hey, who's the little G God of this world? It's Lucifer, Satan. Okay? And the world passeth away, and the lusts and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. And now are there many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time. What is that? What is the spirit of Egypt? It's the spirit of man. It's that spirit of Antichrist. James 3. James 3. Verses 13 on to verse 16. James 3. 13 on to 16. James 3. 13 on to verse 16. Who is as a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him shew out his good conversation. Let him shew out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. That's, that's what they're doing. And how many of you, my countrymen, are falling neck deep into it. <clears throat> How many? And the spirit of Egypt, back in Isaiah 19, verse 3, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. How is this signified for us today, the politicians? <laughs> Their wizard's going to do something magical to save America? I don't think so. Verse 4. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord. And a fierce king shall rule over them. Seth, the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Romans 1, verse 20. See how we did that? Romans 1, verse 20. 20 on to verse 25. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without, if, if, without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Fool says in his heart there is no God. To act foolishly is to act as if you say in your heart there is no God. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Fool says in his heart there is no God. And, ch and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. Just believe, you fake grace scumbag. Yeah. And to birds. You know, the little 
Trinity bird from Catholicism, Babylon, and Egypt that poops on everybody. And four-footed beasts. The love of the cow. And creeping things. Nehushtan, the medical thing. With the snake on the pole that you see on the ambulances in the doctor's office. Nehushtan. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> good luck. And also too, uh, Isaiah 66, verses 3 and 4. Okay? Which is also echoed in Second Thessalonians. Doctrine for us today. I'm really tempted to say your name, but I'm not going to. Okay? Isaiah 66, 3 and 4. He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificeth a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offereth an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways. Excuse me. And their soul delighteth in their abominations. I also will choose their delusions. I will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. I will choose their delusions. And this thing about I will give uh, and the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel Lord. What does Satan say in Luke chapter 4? All this will I give unto thee if you what? fall down and worship me, all shall be thine. Uh, Zechariah chapter 11. Zechariah chapter 11, verses 13 on to verse 17. Or 15, excuse me. No. No. Verses 13 on to verse 17. Yes. I have that written there for a reason. And the Lord said unto me, Cast it unto the potter, the goodly price that I was praised at of them. And I took the thirty pieces of silver and cast them to the potter in the house of the Lord. Reference unto it, Judas Iscariot and stuff like that. You know, cast the silver back onto them and whatnot, and they bought the potter's field. Then I cut asunder my other staff, even bands, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. And today, what Jesus are you believing on? Even that is a sign, uh, thing of contention to pit Americans against Americans, to pit brother against brother. Okay? And the Lord said unto me, Take unto thee yet the instruments of a foolish shepherd. For lo, I will raise up a shepherd in the land which shall not visit those that be cut off. Yeah. Neither shall seek the young one, nor heal that is broken, nor feed that that standeth still. But he shall eat the flesh of the fat and tear their claws in pieces. Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. Sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up. The arm of flesh. That's what that's a reference to. The arm of flesh. And his right eye shall be utterly darkened. And of course, you can you can see this in uh, so many of like Hollywood, what they cover in the right eye. That one thing that I made mention of of Trump, where his right eye was purposely darkened. Okay, who's this cruel Lord? Satan. Okay, back in Isaiah chapter 19. And the waters shall fail from the sea, and the rivers shall be wasted and dried up. The waters. You know, in Revelation chapter 17, verse 15, it talks about how the people... Let's look at it. Let's look at it. There's another reference I have here, but a dear, beloved brother brought something up to me today, and the Lord has done something on it, and that's going to be next. Uh, today. I'm going to do two videos today, Lord will. But, Revelation 17, verse 15. Oh, uh, no. 
Let's read Revelation 17, 1 and 2. First, and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Upon many waters, verse 15 in Revelation 17. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou saw us, where the horse sitteth, are peoples, and multitudes, and nations, and tongues. And the waters shall fail, back in Isaiah 19, and the waters shall fail from the sea, and the rivers shall be wasted and dried up. Verse 6. <clears throat> and they shall turn the rivers far away, and the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up. The reeds and flags shall wither. Hmm. Verse 7. The paper reeds by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks, and every thing sown by the brooks shall wither, be driven away, and be no more. Why? Because of, a, uh, because of verse 14. A cruel Lord who will not visit the poor and needy, will not visit the sick. These politicians care nothing about you and me, people. They only care about those who are the elite uh, class. Esoteric and exoteric. I always get them confused. But one is the elite, one is the common. And they only care about the elite. And even then, will they destroy themselves? Why? Because of a cruel Lord. Because of a cruel Lord. Go to Psalm 33. Psalm 33. Psalm 33, verses 16 and 17. Psalm 33, verses 16 and 17. <clears throat> there is no king saved by the multitude of an hope of an host. Mighty man is not delivered by much strength. And horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. The previous video we kind of talked on this. And of course, while we're in the Psalms, let's look at Psalm 127. Psalm 127, verses 1 and 2. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain to build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman walk, wake it, but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For he gives, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. But yet he's given what? Verse 4 in Isaiah 19. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel Lord. Proverbs 21. Verses 27 on to verse 31. Proverbs 21, verses 37. 27, excuse me, on to verse 31. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abo is abomination. How much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind? A false witness shall perish, but the man that heareth speaketh constantly. A wicked man hardeneth his face, but as for the upright, he directeth his way. There is no wisdom nor understanding nor counsel against the Lord. The horse is prepared against the day of battle. The safety is of the Lord. Psalm, uh, Psalm Isaiah 9, 19, verse 8. The fishers also more. And the Lord said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. But there are also other people who are fishers. Fishers for the Vatican. Fishers for Satan. Fishers to damn people to hell. The worst of all are these fake gracers, I believe, who are yoked up hand in hand with the Vatican. They're Vatican agents. The ones who are promoting this nonsense are all Vatican agents. Okay? Check out the channel Perfect Standard KJV. And the brother that uh, the work of that brother exposing the Vatican. Okay, check out his stuff. Okay, fishers also shall mourn, <laughs> and all they that cast angle into the brooks shall lament, and they shall and they that spread nets upon the waters shall languish. Jeremiah seven. And remember, before we go to Jeremiah chapter seven. Uh, 
Jeremiah 23, 21 and 22. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have, not, I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had, had caused my people to hear my words, then should they have turned, then should, then they should have, excuse me, turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. People, my American countrymen, we are the laughing stock of, of the nations of the world. Do you really honestly believe that putting that Trump, if he is selected, is going to turn a nation away from its sins? It's impossible. Hmm. Jeremiah 7, verses 1 and verse 10. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word and say hear the word of the Lord all ye Judah all ye of Judah that enter in at these gates to worship the Lord thus saith the Lord of hosts the God of Israel amend your ways and your doings and I will cause you to dwell in this place trust ye not in lying words saying the temple of the Lord the temple of the Lord the temple of the Lord are these America is a nation blessed by God <laughs> yeah. And can America amend its ways? No. No, it can't. It can't go back. It, can, it, it can't go back to something that it never was. You individually can. But as a whole, America, no way. There's no way. For if you thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if ye thoroughly execute judgment between man and his neighbor. You got to remember? Dispensational difference. This is instruction in righteousness. This was under the law of faith and works. There was no eternal security under the law. Okay. To all you fake grace idiots out there. Okay. If ye oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to your hurt, then will I cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever and ever. Okay? Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot profit. Will ye steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal, and walk after other gods whom ye know not? And come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say we are delivered to do all these abominations? Yeah. But see, the fishers, the fishers shall mourn, and they that cast angle into the brook shall lament. And they that spread nets upon the water shall languish. We are to be fishers of men. Also. And look what's going on. Time is it's getting worse, right? Remember, there are we who are fishers of men, the saints of the church of the living God, and those other fishers fishing for Rome. Verses 9 and 10. Moreover, they that work in fine flax, and they that weave networks, oh, like 5G network, spy networks. <laughs> yes. Moreover, they that work in fine flax, and they that weave networks shall be confounded, and they shall be broken in the purposes thereof. All that makes sluices and ponds for fish. And think about that. They make ponds for fish. We're fishers. We're to bring them onto the Lord. They are fishers. Bringing dead fish to a dead God. One who is not the true God, Satan. Revelation chapter 18. Revelation chapter 18. 
verses 6 on to 10. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, fill to her double. Talking about Rome, not America. Rome, the Vatican. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for one hour is like judgment come. That great city, Rome, who is the perfection of Babylon. Look at verses 17 and 19 now. For in one hour, for in one hour so great riches has come to naught. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust upon their heads and cried, weeping, wailing, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness. For in one hour she is made desolate. Hmm. Look at verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. 2 Corinthians chapter 6. 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 that's not it. That's not it. Uh, where is that? Not 2 Corinthians chapter 6. 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Verses 14 on to verse 18. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial or Belial? Well, what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Second Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 on to verse 5. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the little G, God of this world, hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, just believe, yeah, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Jesus' sake. People, what you are seeing portrayed in the news media and given to you, Okay? It's, it's fake. It's not real. It's controlled to bring about civil war, to put American against American. Hence that we destroy ourselves. People, wake up. Wake up. Come. Let us reason together, you and I, because the only hope there is for you in America is that you
go to the Lord on His terms and He save you. Because America, guess what? America's going to hell. 